Sagittarius, hi, welcome to your read. We're gonna be looking at the energies for you and your person this week. Um, we'll be doing the tarot. So what you need to do is stick that person in your mind, keep that person in your mind, and um, we're gonna look at what's going on between the two of you. Um, before I start shuffling here, I just want to shout out to one of my viewers that's a Sagittarius. Um, they had a recent loss in their family and very, very unexpected for me to hear that. I won't mention them by name here just for their privacy, but uh, they know who they are. And I just wanted to, you know, if you guys are here every week watching the Saggy videos, go ahead, send prayers out to this person, even though I'm not mentioning them by name, you know, send them out good vibes. Uh, I certainly am. And um, so let's get to your read, Sag. Um, stick that person in your mind. If you're seeing two, three, four, ten, twenty different people at the same time, Sag. Ooh, pick the one you like the most. And it has to be somebody you're in contact with, somebody you've met as well, at least video chat with. Can't be somebody that you've never met. It's catfishing you online. All right, Sedge. Go ahead. Pick the one. You got it? And these are general reads, so take what resonates, leave the rest. This isn't gonna resonate for all of you. Okay, Sag, we're ready to go here. Look at you, looking good here. You've been looking good here for a while, though. And look at them. Look at them wanting you. <laughs> Look at them wanting you. <laughs> What's going on here though? Oh, oh sorry, I gotta pull the energy for the both of you. The judgment. <laughs> what is this? You're looking good here, but what's being challenged is uh, you're kind of like telling the universe you're not gonna settle for scraps here. That makes sense, especially if you have like a Sag moon, you just got out of the Saudi Saudi, you've been through hell for the last seven years. You're not gonna settle down for the first thing. And actually, uh, if you look in Vedic astrology, for some of the Sagittarians, um, depending where you have placements, because these things, that's why I stopped throwing astrology into things, because even when I look at YouTube astrologers, it only resonates maybe about 15% because I have a different type of Mars sitting in 12th house and it's going to aspect what it's going to aspect things it's going to be like four places away and even though there's something good happening in my fourth house the Mars over in my 12th house is looking over there like nah <laughs> so but the what I'm seeing here for you right it's like You've been waiting a while, but what you've been doing this, you're actually looking good with the Empress here in the past. You're looking good. You're taking care of yourself here. And then with the King of Coins in your energy, with the Four of Cups, is you're not going to settle for anything less. The Sag is not settling for BS here. And what you're here about the Eight of Swords is like, yeah, like your deepest desire inside of you is like, yeah, you do want something stable, right? You want something to show up, but you want it to show up in a way where... You don't have to free people. You don't have to save people here. I think uh, the general energy between the both of you is judgment, like whether it's going to surface into something and there's going to be some sort of contract signed here or if this is going to be like a verbal agreement between the two of you. The hermit is your strength, thinking now and not moving into things or rushing into things, which is really good because it kind of like gives you hope. So you do have hope for whatever is here with this person. And, but I feel like the strength of that is that you're not really pushing for this to kind of like manifest right away. You're just kind of like taking your time here. Nine of coins is what bridges you two together. So the both of you are actually looking really good here. And that's what kind of brings you two together here. 
they may have mentioned in the past you look good compared to like the other options they may have had here uh, why they're here is basically the state of coins they want to know if it's going to work out with you too but you know and you have eight on your side they have eight on their side you both want some sort of like ultimate balance to kind of shape into this physical reality and on an intellectual reality here as well and in, in the mind the spiritual um, with the tower here on their side though being challenged by the chariot is like maybe they got to move away Maybe that's a thing for them that that could just be like a simple message, but I feel like Maybe they're not moving towards the things that they want and what happens is here Or it's that you're not moving towards them here In essence what that does for this person it causes a tower moment for them um not you though, you're good. <laughs> the Sag is Gucci, but um, you're causing a tower per moment for this person because you're not really moving here. Knight of Cups here is their strength. Uh, they have a whole lot of love to express. They may have already told you, they may have already, and it's funny because you see like this heart on their sleeve, they wear their heart on their sleeve. They may have already expressed to you here, Sag. They have a whole lot of love to give you here, but there's two of wands here. Um, you know, all good things don't last forever, you know, and they want something that's stable with that two of wands. They want action with the stable thing, not the thing that's going to fall apart. So, you know, you not making any moves right now and kind of keeping them as an option, maybe that's not a thing for them. Uh, five of cups is what's being hidden from you. There's going to be some sort of disappointment on your end, Sag. as well as their side. Hold up before you click off the video though. Don't go anywhere. There's gonna be a disappointment between the two of you. There is gonna be some sort of disconnection. And if you guys have already kind of like disconnected a little bit, and I mean like disconnection, like, you know, you guys didn't message each other for a day and then you guys connect again. I'm not talking like disconnect, like you guys don't talk anymore. I'm talking like a little bit of a disconnect, maybe a little quarrel or a little misunderstanding here. I feel like through that misunderstanding, there is something here that kind of guides you guys back together to work out with this three of coins. Your advice is to work something out with this person when they give you the idea that they've actually regretted kind of turning back or like that little disconnect or the little quarrel here i feel like that you're able to work through that you're able to use like the the rubble from the tower that you caused in their life that little tower because i feel like it's a little tiny tower you caused in their life i feel like you guys are able to use that rubble there and see yourselves out of a nightmare here that nightmare scenario you're able to guide yourselves out and that's funny because you have the Ace of Swords on top of that, Ten of Swords, meaning a cycle's closing out between the two of you where you guys are starting to intellectualize and communicate. And you guys are able to say things instead of kind of like going to this mode of like, well, I'm good on my own. If they're not going to do anything, then, you know, um, I'm going to be kind of like disconnected and be in my own vibes, you know, and I feel like that's not what's going to bring a relationship together, especially if they're trying to sh show you some sort of affection and you're into this whole, I'm just chilling. I'm not ready to settle down for the first thing that lands on my lap here. Um, I feel Ace of Swords between you guys in the upcoming future is like, this could be signing of marriage paperwork. I'm hearing that. That may not be a thing for your country, but believe me, in the country I'm in, woo, people love to hear that. And, you know, I know some of the Eastern countries, they love to hear that. But I know a lot of the Western, maybe the Australian places, you guys don't like hearing that. You know, you, but there is definitely something that's a, val a value here with this person. Um, let's pull out a Animal Oracle for your advice from the universe here, Sag. 
It's funny because what bridges you guys together is being on your own for a little bit here with the nine of coins and realizing the value inside yourself and that you attract the beauty. You attract the love into your life. Snake spirit, time to heal. Yeah, and you know when I hear see the five and the five and the snake spirit, you know what I'm thinking with the five and the five? I think five of swords and it's like not wanting too much out of this, right? I feel like you don't want too much out of this situation. Maybe they don't want too much out of it. But I think when you guys do that disconnect, that five of cups that came out, by the way, there's the five, five, five. Um, I think when you guys do a little bit of disconnect and a little alone time, I think somebody's able to actually push something forward. Now, when they push forward, are you going to kind of go into that or are you going to kind of like retract? I think that's the question here. And I think while you're on that that path, maybe you need to do things that, that are feel healing, right? And when I think of snake, see the snake spirit, I think of Raj Yoga. So I think I just recommended Raj Yoga for somebody on a personal read um, because they had a screwy north and south node going on in their chart that, uh, you know, when I look at charts, it's like Batman detective work. And then if I can see that maybe like something physically that they can do, well, balance that out. I really do feel like um, those remedies do work. Some of you may need to be doing like yoga to kind of balance yourself from these ups and downs. So that way, whatever this is and this person expressing love to you, I feel like you guys can connect something into this physical reality and make it work. That's all I got for you, Sag. This looks good. Um, it's just gonna take a little bit of effort from both of your sides instead of being in this whole, I'm good on my own mode. Anyways, take it easy and I'll see you guys again next week. Take it easy, Sag, bye.